Hello everybody, today I'm coming to you from sunny Phnom Penh. A week ago I up sticks and um, decided to come and travel to Asia. I first of all went to Bangkok and then I paid a visit to Koh Chang, my favourite place in the world. I stayed there for four days and then yesterday I took the bus from Koh Chang to Phnom Penh. Wow, what a journey. It took a long time. I left at seven o'clock in the morning and I didn't get to my hotel until nine o'clock at night. But having said that, it's really nice here. I'm gonna show you my room quickly and then um, come with me and we're gonna have a look around Phnom Penh. I've never been here before. I spent um, a week in Siem Reap last year and I loved it. The people are great, the food's lovely, it's very inexpensive and um, it's just a great place to be, um, very vibrant. And anyway, so we're gonna to go to, we're gonna have a look around Phnom Penh after I've shown you my room. Okay, so I'm staying at the Diamond Twin Tower Hotel in Phnom Penh. And um, I'll, show you the, I'll show you it first of all, and then once you've seen it, I'll tell you how much I paid a night for it. Right. There's the Kazi. Nice sink. Lovely shower. It's not top end, but it's definitely not budget either. Although it feels like it, let me just say that. Um, excuse the mess. I got here yesterday, I've had a little bit of a tidy up, but I'm a man and I'm not the most tidiest bloke you're ever gonna meet. But it's got a nice little sitting area. It's got a great big TV. It's got a cooker, not that I'll probably be using it, and a hob. Um, nice comfy bed. It's got some mirrors as well with um, some built-in wardrobes and a handsome man, sexy man, looking, looking back at me. And then we go to the balcony. Check out this view. Okay, remember I'm in the city as well. I'm not, I'm not um, on the beach anymore. So uh, I'm quite happy with this. Look at that. Phnom Penh's changed a lot over the last few years. There's been a lot of Chinese development here, and um, and there's hotels and skyscrapers popping up almost on a daily basis. Apparently, I've got a nice. Well, I've got, I've got a dirty old river right beneath me. It's not bad, is it? It's in the, it's actually in the um, the riverside area of Phnom Penh. It's the river, um, riverside area is obviously by the river. But there's a few different areas that um, a lot of expats stay in, and uh, this is one of them. I'm only staying here for four nights because I'm going to be looking for an apartment long term. But this is a good starting place for me because it's costing me twenty pounds a night. I mean, come on. It's also got a gym and a swimming pool apparently, but I haven't seen that yet. I'll be checking that out later on. But for now. I'm gonna go and have a mooch about. I haven't seen anything of Phnom Penh yet. All I did yesterday when I got here was go for a bite to eat and then I went to bed because I was tired. So um, I'm gonna go have a mooch about. Come on, come with me. Caught blimey, it's bloody hot today. Anyway, I'm having a wander around and um, the first place I've come to really is um, that I've just stumbled across. I haven't done anything in a particular order. I've just gone wandering. And the first place I've found is the riverside. And um, have a look at this. Pretty cool, huh? A lot of local people here. Apparently it's a gathering place for Phalang or Barang in the um, evening time. But in the daytime, the, the local people like to hang out here. And um, it seems pretty nice. I'm looking around, I can smell lovely food. And um, my next uh, thing I'm gonna do is stop and get some food in a minute. But um, it smells great. I had a lovely um, pork soup last night and it was quite spicy and it was de delicious. The only thing that we really was missing, if I, if I made that in England, was a couple of slices of chunky um, white bread with uh, real butter on them. But you know, I'm on the other side of the world and I can't shit, expect people to ship miracles. Anyway, I'll speak to you in a bit.
there is your royal palace and i'm not going to pay to get in because it's quite expensive and i'm very hungry and i want to go and find some food but it's pretty good to look at and um i thought i'd give you a little boxes at it on my way to find a nice restaurant well, I think I found somewhere to eat. A battle cruiser on the banks of the Mekong River. There are the things I want to know. Secret start in your heart to slow. Anyway, so I'm sitting down in that pub restaurant and I've just ordered the breakfast. Now, they it's a bit more expensive here for, uh, for Western food than it is for local food, but I think that's the same anywhere in the world. And I'm paying $8.50, so I suppose that's about £6 something for a breakfast, which isn't that bad really, is it? But it's not cheap either. But anyway, when it, when, it, when it arrives, I'll give you a butcher's at it, and then I'm going to wind the video up then and eat my, eat my scram. Well, I'm gonna get stuck into my breakfast, but um, I'll see you soon for more adventures in Cambodia. See you later.